Hey guys, 2003 Chevy Silverado. It's the same all the way up through 2007. If you're having a no crank, no start problem like I was, ended up being in the fuse box for me. There are several ignition fuses in the fuse box here uh, that go all towards the cranking and it can make your dash do crazy things like the ABS light comes on and the brakes actually lock up a little bit. You might feel like you're fighting to get normal acceleration if you actually do get the thing started. Uh, if it's a problem like mine was, the solenoid wire was not engaging. So you've got here, there's our new starter because yes, I changed that out trying to solve the problem. That top wire up there is the solenoid wire and it wasn't getting 12 volts. But I jumped power from the main battery terminal, which is that closest shiny nut on the bottom, to the other copper terminal over there just to get it to go and that got me home so you can do that in an emergency but yeah it ended up being a fuse under here a lot of uh, videos out there are about 30 minutes long so hopefully this one's really helpful to you guys other reasons that are very common for Chevy's to not start is the ignition control module uh, which is located right under here it has to do with your key not being sensed in the right position and all that good stuff very common part to go bad a lot of the time you can turn the key and jiggle it as you turn and it'll give you uh, at least one start or an attempted start or something like that if the ignition control module is bad that's another kind of easy way to tell uh, hopefully this video is helpful to